Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Easter tutorial or just for spring, whatever you prefer. So to start off, I'm priming my eyes as always using the Sephora Pro Airbrush 47 brush and Max Painterly Paint Pot. And then I quickly set it um, with the Anonymous shade from the Urban Decay Limited palette, the Reloaded palette. Using the same brush, this is just going to help everything blend out a lot easier. Next, we're going to go in with Makeup Geeks Trickity, which is just a light orange color. Very pretty, very spring appropriate. And the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. Just use any brush that you prefer, any blending brush. Um, we're going to stay here for a while, so I sped through the, a lot of this. Um, so remember, just take your time with blending. It really is key to make everything um, look nice and seamless together. So I went over it um, just in my crease and above my crease with um, a light amount of product, and then now you'll see I'm kind of focusing it more in the crease and just keep blending and blending. Now we're going to take a Morphe shadow. It's pretty much like a corally red type color and the Morphe E18, which is the main brush I'm going to be using in this video. Um, so what we're going to do is just focus this right in our crease and we're going to blend it up just slightly with the same brush um, but mainly focusing this in the crease. So keep doing this um, and remember start off lightly and then continue to build it up as you go because it's always easier to add product than it is to remove product. Now we're going to go in with our base for our outer corner and inner corner of our eyes and I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and then I'm going to blend it out just with my finger because it's pretty easy to blend out. And then after we do that we're going to go back into our number 65 shade um, for Morphe and just intensify the crease. You'll see me do this a lot throughout the video because you want to make sure as you blend um, other colors that you still have pigmentation that you want of the previous color so it's a lot of back and forth so now I'm going to go into the same Urban Decay Vice Reloaded palette and I'm going to take the color Asphyxia and then I'm going to put this right on the outer corner and I'm just going to keep going back and forth <coughs> I'm going to keep going back and forth and building it up until you know I'm comfortable with how it looks and everything and then I'm going to use the color switch to just get that shadow off so I'll go in with the same brush and the color right above asphyxia which is called hot pants it's a really pretty um, iridescent pink color so we're going to focus this one on our inner corner and like I mentioned I'm still using the Morphe E18 brush but you can switch brushes if you like um, I just find this brush is pretty easy to do a lot of looks with or so I just keep sticking with that then I'm going to go back into Asphyxia and then I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to intensify it on the outer corner. And I'm going to do the same thing with the color Hot Pants. Um, just spray MAC Fix Plus on that and intensify it even more so we really get those colors to pop. Now we're going to go back into the number 65 um, shadow from Morphe and intensify our crease again. As I mentioned, we do this quite a bit throughout the tutorial. Just remember to keep building and blending and building and blending. I'm also going to intensify Chickity because I feel like we lost some of our transition color and I really wanted that orange to pop out. So yes, and then back into the Morphe 57 shadow or 65 shadow. Jeez. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to take um, this glitter glue, which is horrible. It's from Sephora. They're a Sephora brand, and I don't know if it's because it's been sitting in the container for a while or what, but it's just not good. It makes, like, 
your glitters like very um, creasy and stuff. So yeah, I don't recommend this glitter glue. So use any glitter glue that you like in a flat stiff shader brush and focus it right on the center of your lid. And then we're gonna go into this beautiful glitter. Um, it's from Makeup Geek, it's called Solar Flare. It's so beautiful, especially for springtime. So I did build this up uh, quite a bit um, just because the glue just wasn't working for me very well and I have used them um, with a different glue and it works a lot better so yeah I just don't recommend that glitter glue specifically but I did order the Violet, Violet Voss glitter glue so hopefully I'll like that one it just hasn't arrived yet so keep packing that on and then you're gonna go back into asphyxia and hot pants and you're gonna just blend over where those shadows meet so that you don't have any harsh lines and of course back into the Morphe 65 shadow as well so I used the Kat Von D Trooper Liner um, and just did a regular line on my upper uh, lid, but I decided to wing it out. Um, I didn't show that part, so sorry about that. And then I also used the NYX uh, Wonder Pencil to line my lower lash line because I really wanted um, our eyes to be brightened. And then I popped on some false lashes, the Ardell 120s. And then I'm using a makeup remover wipe just to get any fallout off of my skin. And then I'm going to go in with the Stilo One Step Perfecting um, Primer or Correcting Primer. And I've really been liking this recently. So yeah, I recommend that. And then I'm using um, just a green corrector. This one's from L'Oreal because I have a lot of acne right now. So yeah, excuse that, especially that big one on my cheek. Oh, I hate when I get those. So I just put it on with my finger and then kind of blended it with my finger as well. So yep, do that if you have any redness on your skin. If not, then of course, go ahead and skip this step. Now for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Sand. And I'm just gonna dot this on my face and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Um, at first I thought it was too dark, which it kind of is. Um, my tan's kind of gone away a little bit. But we made it work at the end with the concealer and highlighting and contouring and all that. So it worked out in the end. <laughs> Now I'm going to cover those dark circles with the NYX corrector um, like I always do. It's just a peach tone concealer which really helps cancel out any darkness under my eyes. So I use that and then I'm going to go in with the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Concealer. I really have been liking this actually. Um, it's just a really good concealer. It's in the shade Light by the way. And I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender as well because that's my favorite way to blend foundation and concealer out. Now I'm going to try a new product that I just got and I've never tried it before. Um, it's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores um, Setting Powder. It's their loose setting powder. And it's very, very fine. I really like it. Um, I did get a bit too much uh, when I used it. And I used it with a little puff, so maybe that's why. But yeah, it kind of turned my whole face white for a little bit. But then I went ahead and blended it out, so it ended up being okay. But I like the finish that it gave my skin. So, so far, so good. Now for the lower lash line, I'm taking a flat shader brush. I think this one is from e.l.f. Um, any one that you have will work fine. And I'm going to buff Chickadee um, lightly under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe number 65 shadow as well. And just run that along the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to go into the 
Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the color Shark Attack. It's a pearlized finish, and I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to blend everything out uh, with the same Morphe E18 brush. I swear I use it for everything. Um, and then I'm going to go into the Super Shock Shadow in the color Hope. Um, it's a sheer opal color, so it's white, but it has a lot of pink reflex in it. It's really, really pretty, so I'm putting that as my inner corner because I figured it would go really good with this look, but I did have to build it up quite a bit, so keep that in mind if you are using one of these shadows. I then went ahead and used some um, lower lash mascara. I didn't show you the whole clip because it's just bottom lash mascara. It's a uh, Max Giga Black for anybody who's interested. Then to finish off the face, I'm using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder um, to go ahead and contour a little bit. And this Real Techniques brush, I believe it's number 200. I could be wrong on that. I'll leave it below though for sure. And I just fast forwarded through this as well because I didn't want to spend forever on showing you guys this. Wouldn't it be nice if you could contour this fast though? I also contoured my temples and along my jawline just to give my face a more of an oval shape. And also my nose, of course, just a little bit. I was blending it out in that clip, by the way. Um, then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and just a little e.l.f. Kabuki brush and bronzing up my face some. I love this bronzer, by the way. It's so beautiful. For blush, I'm going to use a peachy kind of blush. It's um, the NYX Ombre Blush in Strictly Chic and the e.l.f. Blush Brush. So, yeah, I love br I love brush. I love, uh, I love lamp. Thumbs up if you guys know what that's from. Um, but no, I love e.l.f. brushes is what I was trying to say. And then I'm going to highlight my face using the same Kevin Aquan palette um, with the Candlelight Highlighter. It's not a very intense highlighter, but you can build it up. And I'm using the Makeup Geek Cheek Highlighter Brush, um, per usual. I love that brush for highlighting. And I'm just doing the regular highlight spots um, on my nose, a little on my cupid's bow, a little on my forehead, and of course, um, above the contour to bring everything forward. And then I'm going to go with this Real Techniques blush. Oh my gosh, a brush and blend everything out. So I also did some baking, but of course, my camera cut off. So yeah. Um, and then I went and finished my lips with the ColourPop Lippy in Yasmin and then sprayed with some Max, MAC Fix Plus, of course. And that completes this look, guys. I hope you really enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys have a fun Easter and enjoy spring more than I do because my allergies are horrible, especially in spring. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.